Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Thought I'd show you what I've been working on uh, last couple days again, which happens to be a POI, but uh, I wanted to show you uh, another update to a Scarly's Creel uh, super fortified space station. Um, this thing is sweet. The, uh, the design of it is just really cool. It's unique. I haven't seen a space station like this before. Um, it's just, it's cool. It's getting very, very uh, detailed too. You can see all the work that's going into this and the, uh, the crazy shaping and everything like that. And actually when you, uh, when you hop in here too, um, I'm a little scared of this because I'm just looking at literally the amount of insane turrets that are on this thing and sensory guns inside this front area here and throughout the whole hall of the, uh, the base and it's it's uh wow it better have some major major loot in it because this thing is a nightmare and as you get into it further uh, a lot more texture work has been done in here too and it's looking really really good um uh, definitely has that creel look and then uh, even in here i was looking at at the guns and it's like oh my gosh there's there's like eight of them and it's got rocket launchers inside the hangar Jeez. Uh, yeah, I'm not even sure how I would try to take on something like this. Um, now, it, uh, a lot more is getting done, so it's, uh, it's, it's uh, coming along quite well, though. But, yeah, very impressed. Um, really nailing the, uh, the Creole look in here. And uh, the whole shape and everything of this is uh, pretty insane. Love it. Looking forward to seeing this one get uh, get finished and uh, hopefully into the game as another one. And I gotta I gotta work on my my Creel station as well. So what I actually have been working on is this POI for Scar over here, and I've uh, been getting a lot lot more done on it. And it's time consuming, and quite frankly, it's certainly one of the most complicated builds I've ever tried to do. Um, but I just love the potential on what you can do, even, you know, in current Imperium. Um, it can just, yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff. Now, last time I showed this, I only had a uh, part of this facing done over here. And right now I've got just little, little areas that I started to texture and a whole lot of areas are untextured. Uh, most of it's untextured right now. Um. But what I wanted to do, and what I described in the last video too, is I kind of wanted this a bit like a castle in the end. And I wanted some open air places on the inside. And I was uh, making mention of like having a shanty town. So what I've been doing is building this very crude, weird wall around it. And also I took the advice of Comet too, and I'm adding in a sewer type of thing. Um, that is this part course untextured yet too but this wall is constantly changing into different stuff all the way around the outside of it um, of course most of it's mostly not textured yet but uh, it's getting there so like every little chunk of this is something different and then I actually got another like uh, way on the inside over here but when you come in this thing um, Keep in mind, this is uh, this whole area back here is not finished at all. I started uh, doing the block work on this front entry point. What this is going to be um, inside here is kind of a uh, uh, trading center, I guess you can say. So what I'm doing, the plan is I'm going to add in like little shops, you know, or vendors here. And this is a POI, so you can put in like AI vendors and that kind of thing. There'll be like maybe a shop there, shop there, some kind of shop over here. And then on the other side here, maybe more of the same, but I wouldn't mind getting in some kind of shanty housing, maybe a little bit over here. And then of course I'm um, setting it up so there's a, uh, like you can walk around the outer wall out in this area. But what I think is one of the coolest things, once you're in here and say this is all lit and detailed and textured and everything, I mean, the uh, the view that you get inside is pretty insane. And it's just, 
This is the other side of the building, and I set up this with a lot of industrial piping, uh, things that would essentially go into the ground. Again, only partially textured. Um, you can kind of see where that's going. And it gets all the way up to the top, and I haven't textured any of this stuff yet either. As in the crane, I'm experimenting a lot. Now, I've got some issues with my crane right now. Um, one, uh, obviously with, with these cranes, you would have usually a, uh, a rope that would like go from this side and then down to this side. And, um, but the block, the literally only block in the game that works for that is when I've seen it used on another creation, and I had to study it a little bit to figure out what was being used there, is these, which are the only angled part like it um, for blocks. Which kind of sucks because this doesn't look right either for being a rope. And I've seen it done something like what you see here. So you could run like some kind of rope looking thing that way. But it, if you look at it closely, it looks kind of strange. Like this doesn't look like rope at all and these don't actually even touch. Um, which I wish there was just a, a square like angled block like what this is and without the spiky things on it. I think that would be better and it would be especially awesome if there was that at a 22.5 degree angle. But what I, I, I was just doing a structural integrity test because I want to make the boom arm of the crane longer out this way, but I had to figure out exactly where structural integrity fails. And I basically I brought that out four more blocks past where I was and one more block past this is solid red and absolute collapse. This is really weak, but it stays structurally uh, working. Now, one uh, another suggestion in comments was to add something up here on the crane, like maybe a house or room or some more stuff to do. And I think I will do that. I, um, to get an elevator up here, though, I would have to get rid of my little uh, these these blocks in the middle so I could replace that with elevator blocks. And then that could work it all the way up to the top of this. But yeah, overall it's it's uh, it's like a castle and it's got like an inter interior area and then this massive building on the one side of it or corner of it. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I've never built anything like this before. I think once it's all finished and lit and textured and detailed, it, uh, I hope it'll, just doesn't look like anything you've seen in Imperium before. Um, and it fits with all the other Scar stuff too, so that's that's uh, what's important. Definitely want that to uh, look that way. And it's going to have quite a bit of interior space, although I didn't want a huge amount. Um, but it's going to have a lot of floors going up the tower, basically. And then, of course... Um, I'm going to try to get some intricate little things that go through the walls and stuff like that for some more POI content, <clears throat> things like that. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how this uh, comes out. But, uh, yeah, so far, pretty happy with it. Once I get this finished, too, I'll, uh, I think I said this before, I will get this, uh, uh, I'll do some kind of presentation um, and uh, so the devs are aware of this um, and see if they want to uh, try to put this race into the game. Um, I think it's a pretty appropriate race. I know there's a pirate faction already. Um, it's probably different than this. So these are kind of along those ideas, but probably a little different than what the other stuff is. So, um, but yeah, I don't know. You know, sometimes, especially at a little bit of distance and the right lighting, um, you look at something like this and you look at, like, uh, you know, a game that's, you know, say Star Citizen, for instance, that, you know, obviously the, the stuff in there looks a whole lot better. But, I mean, literally, it's all, you know, it's not built with voxels in Star Citizen. And it's all custom textures and and modeled out. And it takes a very, very long time for them to build something like this in Star Citizen. Um, a, a lot of work, probably by multiple people, over months to build something like this. And literally, I can do something like this in, well, if I put eight hours a day in it, I could probably get it done within 
a few days um, by myself without anybody else. So I, that there's a big difference on that, and I just love the potential of what voxels can do, especially when you have so many shapes and parts and things. And you know, the more the merrier. And uh, yeah, anyway. That's pretty much what I had for you today. Now, my release schedule is to get the Bago, I'm sorry, Bago, 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 not Bago, Bago, the uh, the small starter CV, this guy over here, um, out this weekend. There was other name suggestions in the comments, and I like a lot of them. Um, it's just I don't know if I want to change the name of this one, but I'm going to keep those uh, an eye on those names for other things. I sort of like the idea of short for Winnebago. Um, and I had this idea of, you know, a brief lure that I'd put in on the post about it, too. Um, so I kind of wanted to still go with that, but I do like a lot of the other names, and they're on my list of other things, probably for the scar that I could use them on. So I appreciate all the, all the uh, name suggestions and ideas and uh, a lot of different ideas, even like this, like, you know, someone was like, hey, what about a sewer system? Now, one debate I've got on this, too, is do I want to take this POI and actually build an underground to it as well, which I could do a lot more with a sewer then. Right now it's just kind of a, a alternative entry point, but uh, more could be done with that for sure. And um, I don't know, I'll have to think about that. I don't know how much bigger I want this to be. And as in the shanty town, I'm not going to have a lot of room to do really what I would like to do for a shanty town, which I could reserve that for another POI for the SCAR. That would be a shanty town and not a, uh, a power plant like what this is technically would be. Um, but uh, anyway, you have yourselves a good day and hope you enjoyed this. And um, I'll be back Friday for... Um, I don't know, maybe uh, I'm thinking possibly a build thing. So maybe I'll uh, do what I wanted to do with this Friday and get this, uh, try to make this a working fighter instead of what I originally tried to do, and that is make it a miner. Again, the big problem with miner is the spacing of the mine, mining drills on this don't work out with the, the side wings. And I actually wouldn't mind having these, these wings a little thinner and further out from the center. Um, so I can make this thing not look as pudgy as it is. So that that is coming. And um, this thing I'm going to abandon completely, I think. Um, it was a test, more or less, and just wanted to see the potential. But the, the spacing on these turrets also is not ideal. And I don't like where the cockpit position is in relation to the uh, mining drills either because it makes it kind of hard to see because they're all below you. Um, so, yeah, there, there has been a uh, mining SB on the workshop that I've seen. It uh, kind of looks uh, it's very cool. God, man, I, I can't think of the name of it right now. I subbed it, though, but it's probably not in my game yet. Um, but that one looks like it's really set up well. And it's got a small footprint, and it's, again, set up like a more of a traditional HV miner. And I think that, that works out. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll build something for that. And uh, also uh, try to do something with this butterfly ship yet, too. Uh, I have not been back to it yet because I've been engrossed in on doing this other thing. All right, well... Time for me to shut up, and you have yourself a good day. I will see you later.